Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. How's All right, and don't lie to me, and my feelings aren't going to be hurt. But yes. I do know that I handed you the very first Han Solo doll, doll up at ILM. Yes, yes. And I was, we're packing our gear up, we're walking out, and all of a sudden you start opening it, and I'm going, shit, he's unboxing it. <laughs> I've got to watch this. I got to get his reaction. Yeah. This is your first Han Solo doll. That's right. Action figure. Okay. <laughs> see. <laughs> So yeah. is that a coveted Han Solo doll, or are you? Did you give it away? Do you have it? Is it in a drawer or in your luggage somewhere? <laughs> uh, I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I'm sorry. I spent. Oh, I know, sorry. but I. Uh, there's something. I think if I found myself at my house, playing with the action figure, that would be odd. It would. There would be something sort of. I think I. It's a good sign that I'm gotten to a bad place if that's where I'm at. <laughs> but I did see you check it out and check out the 3D scan. It's cool, and, yeah. And you did connect, and I don't want to plot spoil the movie, but sure, you, sure. You, it was very important to you that you took the blaster out and put it in your doll's yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's one of my favorite scenes in this movie without giving too much away. Thanks, yeah. Are there little moments like that by now the universe has started to come to you that has seen the movie saying, oh uh -huh. God, I love this part and I love this yeah, part and I love yeah, this part. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's a great feeling to finally kind of put the movie out there after working on it for so long in secrecy and kind of finally getting to put it out there and have everyone see it is wonderful. If I was sitting where you were, my inner monologue would be all day long, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Right. Because you have to be somewhat cool because the character is somewhat cool. Uh -huh. How do you contain the joy you must be with. Well, really yeah. I think, you know, you're, I don't know, honestly, I've been doing it for two year, two and a half years. I mean, I've, it's been a good kind of slow process of getting into it and, and I feel pretty comfortable with the, the kind of whole adventure of it at this point. I, uh, I would have to say that this is the whole reason I wanted to get into the industry. I knew that I wanted to do something connected to the entertainment industry because yeah. the very first time I saw Star Wars. Really? I bet everyone that you work with has a similar story. Totally, yeah. There's some unbelievable stories, and I think that it's very beautiful what this movie has meant to people throughout their lives. At some point, you probably reached out to Harrison Ford, and mm -hmm. God, I love him. I think he's one of America's best actors. But with that said, it's so much of a different experience sitting opposite Harrison Ford, someone oh, yeah. who doesn't really care much about <laughs> Star Wars or anything other yeah. than flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you know, I think he cares. I think there's a gooey center there. Um, but he, I don't know. No, it's like pulling teeth to talk to him about. It. Like, <laughs> yeah, I do. A, I'll do Harrison for you. Be a journalist. Ask yes. me. A, ask me a question. So, what was? Were there any pranks on set, or was it really exciting to uh, fly the Millennium Falcon again after so many years away from it? Oh. Well, you know. It's all make-believe. <laughs> That's a Harrison Ford response to that question. I think you asked, he's, I think I gave you the real wrong. response and you gave the real question. He's not wrong. Yeah, it's, it, it's true. <laughs> it's, yeah. All right, 10, 20 movies from now, when you look back to your first day on the set of this movie, what's going to be the moment you remember? I think the thing I'll really remember is my screen test on the Millennium Falcon. I think getting on there and uh, wearing, there was something about putting the jeans on that had, it's not jeans in the movie, but it was jeans in the screen test, and it was a, there was a Corellian blood stripe, which is the stripe that goes yeah. down the side of the pants. There was something about wearing that that felt like, this is Star Wars. ABC 10 presents Extra Butter with Marcus Allen.